Hey, what's up? Usman here. Welcome to another episode of WCCF Bytes. This is Technology with an Accent. So, NVIDIA recently revealed their flagship Pascal-based GTX 1080 graphics card and the first preliminary DirectX 12 benchmarks of the very same have leaked out. Uh, well, when I say leaked out, I mean that they have been posted on the benchmark database of Ashes of the Singularity, which is one of the most controversial titles out there in terms of direct extra benchmarking and the benchmarks are were actually performed by an NVIDIA employee. So uh, uh, as far as authenticity goes, these are definitely the real deal. Of course, uh, there is something that I would like to add from the very beginning that uh, it goes without saying that these benchmarks were most probably conducted on uh, drivers that have not been perfected or polished yet and we could still see some major changes uh, in these drivers. So right off the bat we can see that the GDX 1080 is turning out some pretty amazing performance numbers. Uh, it's actually competing with the double GPU setups like the Radeon Pro Duo and the dual uh, R9 390 setup. Uh, of course what, we, what you're really seeing here is the performance increase that you get from the process jump NVIDIA recently shifted from 28 nanometer planar to 16 nanometer finfits and the effect is readily apparent here even though it's using the GP104 which is the heart of the GTX 1080. It has a die size which is smaller than a 980 Ti. It still allows uh, it to perform faster than a 980 Ti at clocks uh, around 2.0 GHz which is once again phenomenal uh, because of the fact that it's using fit fed technology. So these are the general uh, ranking of the card. Uh, moving on to the specific numbers, let's start with the Extreme 1080 preset. Uh, we see that once again the card is uh, showing some pretty impressive performance numbers but one of the major problems with uh, with the older or rather one of the more controversial issues with older gen architectures of NVIDIA was the fact that they were somewhat lacking in terms of async compute. And this is something that NVIDIA has officially stated in a press release just a few days back that they have actually managed to solve in Pascal. And uh, let's see how that is. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you is are the benchmarks of the GDX 1080 um, in the extreme, uh, the, sorry, the crazy 1080p setup. And uh, as you can see, we're seeing some slight gains while shifting from DirectX 11 over to DirectX 12. Now, these, uh, if you look at the average rate, you are getting around about, uh, I think, four or more or less, you're getting around four frames increase once you jump from DirectX 11 to DirectX 12. Now, here's the thing, however, we know for a fact that NVIDIA had previously uh, disabled uh, async compute on their driver suits. So what we don't know right now is whether uh, the performance increase you're seeing right now is with async compute or without async compute. If the performance increase you're seeing right now is with async compute then it would uh, technically fit in with what we have known in the past. It, it would fit in with uh, the white paper published on Pascal because it's it stated that in we, the, the compute advances in Pascal architecture are basically compute advances in preemption which is as most of you would know what NVIDIA's favorite methodology is towards compute as opposed to async compute. So these are the 1080p benchmarks. Moving on, we have uh, a 1440p ultra wide resolution, which is basically 3440 into 1440. And once again, we see that uh, we're, we're seeing a frame per second, uh, an FPS increase of around two frames at max, uh, jumping from DirectX 11 to DirectX 12. And uh, this is also somewhat lacking once again. Like I said before, if you are looking at uh, async turned on, and we can't really tell for sure, uh, if you're really looking at benchmarks of DirectX 12 with async turned on, then it looks like NVIDIA has not actually solved the async compute problem in its entirety. And, and we'll get onto that in a second. Uh, before we do that, however, I'd like to show you uh, a comparison between um, what uh, what a performance increase in async compute actually looks like. Uh, these are numbers that uh, I took off some publications such as Ntech and uh, Hard OCP, and these benchmarks were performed by 
uh, independent third party reviewers and as you can see that uh, in some cases uh, with async turned on the fury x can show as much as a 47 percent increase in performance now these are pretty limited scenarios specifically these are scenarios which are heavily cpu bound uh, which is where uh, async compute really shines but if you notice the graph of the 980 ti and the gdx 1080 uh, and while the 1080 is slightly better at async compute than the 980 ti it's not significantly better uh, and that's not really a bad thing because uh, as as we know uh, preemption and async compute are basically two competing methodologies towards implementing the same end result which is maximizing the utilization of your gpu and we've already seen that uh, the aggregate performance of the 1080 is absolutely phenomenal and if, and if you're a gamer and you're playing a game you're not going to care about the relative gains that you get from jumping over to, to dx12 what you're really going to care about is the raw frames per second that you're actually getting right now so in terms of that the gdx 1080 performs absolutely phenomenally as far as async compute goes, uh, these benchmarks are somewhat concerning and we really hope that, that the information that NVIDIA revealed a few days back claiming that they have uh, made some serious async compute advances turns out to be true and this is basically just the result of partial or unfinished drivers. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, uh, these are the first DirectX 12 benchmarks of the GDX 1080, Ashes of the Singularity and one of the most controversial topics of async compute. Uh, if you like the video and want to see more, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to, hey, that's completely up to you as well.